I'll be reacting to My Opinion on Halloween by Jaden Animations. So since it's spooky month, uh, let's watch this video. Halloween is coming up, and I feel peer pressured by myself to make a Halloween themed video. That's what you're watching. But when I sat down to try and think of something to talk about, nothing really came to my mind. I don't have any crazy Halloween stories or over the top thoughts about it. It's kind of just a meh holiday for me. Then I realized. I have nothing to say about Halloween, so that's what this video is about. Reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of Halloween, but it's not like I don't like it. I'm just overall neutral about the whole thing. Please don't dislike this video. I always only hear about people either thinking Halloween is the best holiday, and anyone who doesn't think so can be sacrificed by goats. Well, wait, what? It's just an excuse to make dumb skeleton puns and worship Satan. And I am neither of those. The most I'll really do is reference the Halloween spoopy meme an unhealthy amount of times because that's yep. my favorite thing about the whole season. That probably explains very well the extent of my Halloween enthusiasm. The thing is, I'm willing to give Halloween a chance. I just haven't had any great amazing spooktacular things happen when I celebrate Halloween. So to all you huge Halloween enthusiasts, I don't know, tell me how to be more spooky. See, yeah, it's pretty bad. Do the spooky dance from Senior Pello. Staples and explain, I guess, why Halloween doesn't stand out to me. So, hooray, let's get ready for some transition slides. <laughs> Are you kidding yeah, you me? I'm that music? Going enough to even be invited to regular parties? <laughs> Who do you think I am? An extrovert? The majority of the Halloween themed parties I've been to are those neighborhood parties where all the adults get together with their kids and everyone's got mediocre costumes on and nothing fun really happens. Just small talk and alcohol for the adults and hyperactive kids running around being brats. I never know what to do at it's parties. Pikachu. So call my mom around like an idiot. Sometimes people would be like, Oh, Jaden, you've gotten so big since the last time I saw you. <laughs> How's school? Literally. I think that's the only thing adults know what to say to us and I can understand because when I try to put myself in their shoes and think about what I would try to say to a millennial I wouldn't know what to talk about either. So, do you guys still dab? <laughs> Just kidding, that meme has been brutally murdered. Last Halloween, though, all my friends wanted to go to some random Halloween party at some person's house I didn't know and in my head I was like Eh, eh. What if we just stayed here? But I just went with it because, I don't know. I could have stayed at the dorms. They weren't forcing me or anything. I just already knew what was going to happen. They're all going to split up and I was going to end up following one friend around like an idiot. And that's the good thing eh. that happened. I don't Basically. understand how people can just go to a party where they don't know anyone. Like, they're not even technically invited. Their friend is going, so they just came along too. And they can leave being best friends with everyone and all of a sudden being in a relationship. How? I can't what? Even try to initiate a simple conversation with someone without overanalyzing the freak out of everything. I should talk to someone. Wait, what's her personality like? Are they outgoing? Do they even like talking to new people at parties? What do I even say? I hate small talk. No, don't think about that. What's the best way to introduce myself? Should I be friendly or try to say something funny? What's their comedic preference? I don't know what makes them Okay, this is going I I really know. deep inside a brain I hole. I say the first thing. I don't want to end up saying one thing and all of a sudden it's awkward tension. They seem annoyed. They probably hate me already. Scary movies, oh boy. Person. Scary things are not my forte. The other night I scared me too. accidentally turning the bathroom fan on instead of the light. So you can guess that I don't regularly indulge in spoopy movies by my own free will. But last year, my friends all decided to celebrate the Halloween season by watching a scary movie every single night of October leading up to Halloween. Uh, I guess. Every night, I was <laughs> that face. terrified because I thought I was about to be scarred for life. But after it yeah. ended, I was very underwhelmed and disappointed. It's completely based on the specific movies we watched. I know there's undeniably horrifying ones out there that would absolutely destroy me. But like even it? a fragile leaf like me thought the ones that we watched were below par. One example was The Blair Witch Project, which we all know is a huge classic on the old horror movies list. If you haven't seen it, don't waste your time by skipping the video to not hear Spoilers. A group of teens gets lost in the woods with their video camera while looking for something spooky. I can't remember what it was, but it's not really that important. They just need to go into the forest. Then they get lost and wander around in the woods. Sometimes they find a pile of rocks and they think it's spooky, even though every seven-year-old who plays outside with rocks does that. The one guy goes conveniently insane for a minute and kicks their map into a river, and they get even more lost and wander around in the woods. Then I fell asleep for an hour. Then I woke up and they were still lost and wandering around in the woods. They find an old house and the end. I fell asleep for the majority 
majority of the they died. I didn't miss anything when I woke up. I know there's a new remake of it, and that's probably a little bit better, or at least I'd hope so. But I wasn't spooked at all, considering all the hype around it. And yes, I know it's special because it's one of the first to do the found footage style horror movie film thing. But, I mean, that still doesn't cover the fact that it was boring with failed tension. But I do like The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's yeah. a good Halloween movie. I asked on Twitter if you guys thought it was a Halloween or Both. Christmas it's movie, both. And it was way closer than I thought it was going to be. Even though it's obviously a Halloween movie, people were still adamant about the fact that they thought it was Christmas. Now I'm going to end the video here, but yeah, the nightmare for the nightmare before Christmas is is a Disney movie. It, it, it's a, yeah, of course it's a Disney movie, but it, it's both a Halloween and a Christmas movie.